In this video, I'll be comparing GitHub, Copilot, Cursor, and Windsurf, three powerful AI tools for coding. Each boosts productivity, but they do it in strikingly different ways. I'll break down what each tool does best, who will benefit most, and which one fits different developer styles. So first, I'll go over what they do and who they are for, starting with GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is the original AI coding assistant. Designed to auto-complete your code and suggest entire methods or snippets. It integrates directly into editors like VS Code, JetBrains or NeoVim, making it a seamless tool for developers who want fast suggestions right while they type. It's ideal if you value speed and minimal friction. Then Cursor is an AI native code editor, built on top of VS Code. It powers features like end-to-end -end task completion where the AI can not only write code, but also run tests, fix errors, and commit changes. It fully understands your project, often across multiple files, and lets you simply chat comments to it. Great for power coders who want deep context and automation. And Windsurf is an AI-first integrated development environment with agentic coding. Think AI that takes flow seriously. It understands your entire codebase, watches your work in real time, and even cares across files. Features like Cascade let the AI refactor and reshape code while keeping previews of changes, fostering a true partnership between coder and AI. Perfect for teams working in complex, large-scale codebases. Now I'll go over their key features in a bit more depth. So first, GitHub Copilot auto-completes code and suggests completion across multiple languages. It integrates closely with GitHub and IDEs, and it's great for quick snippet generation and everyday coding tasks. The cursor has a conversational agent mode that can run commands and fix code. It understands your entire project for advanced refactoring and editing, and it offers privacy guarantees like SOC2 certification and code that isn't stored remotely. Then Windserve has the agentic IDE that works across files and maintains project context. It has a cascade tool, tab completions, previews, terminal control and deployment, all inside one flow. And it offers a highly polished UI with real-time project monitoring and debugging. So now we'll go over the developer experience and workflow. So GitHub Copilot feels like enhanced autocomplete. You write code and it fills in the rest. It's lightweight, quick and stays out of your way. Perfect for familiar fast coding, but limited in multi-file or deep automation tasks. Cursor feels like chatting with your IDE. So for example, why is this test failing or refactor this code and it executes. It's powerful for executing tasks across your code, but requires embracing a new workflow style. Then Windsurf feels like your IDE is working alongside you, not just assisting. It senses your entire flow, provides file level awareness, previews changes and lets you deploy, all without leaving the editor. It's a designer's dream for large or enterprise code bases. So which one should you choose? First, I would choose GitHub Copilot if you want quick real-time code suggestions, or if you prefer minimal setup and integration into your existing IDE. Then I would go with Cursor if you want AI that can execute tasks, refactor and automate workflows across your project, or if you value in-depth project context and robust privacy features. And finally, I would go with Windsurf if you are working on large-scale or enterprise projects that need real-time context-aware AI collaboration, or if you want agentic assistance that moves your entire coding workflow forward, not just one file or snippet. So overall, GitHub Copilot is best for lightweight coding speed and autocomplete. Then Cursor is ideal for AI-powered automation across your code base with deep context. And Windsurf is built for advanced project-level agentic coding and full development flow. So that concludes this comparison of GitHub Copilot versus Cursor versus Windsurf. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.